In this video, we go over how to solve sequence problems. All right, so the goal of these problems is to figure out what the pattern is and continue that pattern to find the next number of the sequence. So you may want to start out seeing how you get from one number to the next. So going from four to seven, that's adding three. Going from seven to 10, that's adding three. Going from 10 to 13, that's adding 3. And going from 13 to 16 is also adding 3. So what's the pattern? Keep adding 3. So we assume that pattern continues. So we add 3 to 16. They give us 19 for the next number. All right, let's take a look at another example. So again, we want to start out and see how the numbers are changing. You go from 3 to 4, that's adding 1. Going from 4 to 6, that's adding 2. Going from 6 to 9, that's adding 3. And going from 9 to 13, that's adding 4. So what is the pattern of these numbers changing? We're adding 1, then adding 2, adding 3, adding 4. Then we'll assume the next one would be to add 5. So the amount we're adding is increasing each time. So 13 plus 5 is 18. So if we take a look at this example, going from 5 to 7, we're adding 2. Going from 7 to 11 is adding 4. Going from 11 to 19 is adding 8. And going from 19 to 35, we're adding 16. So how are these changing? We're adding 2, 4, and 8, then 16. So this number that we're adding is doubling, going from 2 to 4 is times 2, going from 4 to 8 is times 2, and 8 to 16 is times 2. So we assume this pattern to continue, so we're going to multiply that. 16 times 2 gives us 32. They're going to add 35 and 32. That's going to give us 67. So 67 would be the next number in that pattern. So we see in this pattern, we're going from 3 to 7. So that's adding 4. Going right, 6 to 7, we're subtracting 1. Then going from 6 to 10, we're adding 4. Going from 10 to 9, we're subtracting 1. So we see we're alternating between adding 4 and subtracting 1. Okay, so we expect the next one to be adding 4. That'll be the next one in the sequence there. We continue the alternating between plus 4 and minus 1. And then 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay, so 13 will be the next one in that pattern. Now, if you look at this pattern, we have 21, 8, 21, 11, 21, 14, 21. You'll go from 21 to 8 is subtracting 13. 8 to 21, we're adding 13. 21 to 11, we're subtracting 10. 11 to 21, we're adding 10. 21 to 14, we're subtracting 7. Then 7 to 14, adding 7. So how's this pattern change? We got 13, then 10s, then 7s. So that's decreasing by 3. So we can say the next one has to be minus 4, okay, which would give us 17. Okay, so it would be minus 4. If we were to find the next one, it would have been plus 4. Okay. Now another way to look at it is that you know these 21s, Stay the same. Every other one is 21, so that stays the same. And we're going from 8 to 11, is adding 3. Going from 11 to 14, is adding 3. So we do the same thing here. Add 3, and give us 17. So that's another way you can figure it out. Okay, but you want to find how the numbers are changing. Um, you know, the easy one would be adding the same amount each time or subtracting the same amount each time. Um, another one would be, 
the amount is increasing by you know a constant term you might add two then add four then six so that's increasing by two each time uh, or it could have been multiplying by some number in between okay but the goal is to find out what the pattern is you can see it happening multiple times and then continue that pattern to find the, ne the next term so your goal in these problems is to find the pattern okay it could be anything it could be some kind of addition some kind of subtraction uh, some multiplication in there somewhere but your goal is to find that pattern and then to find the next term of the sequence i want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully just help you understand how to solve sequences problems.